It's time to continue some Zelda Spirit Tracks. I only played this for two days last week. Because Sploon next season and stuff. That was already... That's already an addiction of a game. Like, yesterday... I wound up playing for like five hours almost in Salmon Run just because... I gotta grind for a badge in that mode. I didn't know- I also didn't know that they set it up so you could grind for like 28 hours in that mode and still not get all the stuff. <laughs> Maybe go over that next time I play the game. It's okay though, it was still- it was fine. I'm watching a Smash tournament in the background. Isn't quite the last one of the year? Now there's just one in... Not this weekend. Weekend after that? Last second? All the weird stuff going on in the esports scene. In Nintendo. Threatening c and tournaments. I don't even... I don't even know... Think they know what they're doing right now. You look extra into it. Like, I'm just giving, like, cliff notes off the top of my head if you don't know what's going on. It's just confusing. Yeah, Nintendo, yeah, Pandavian villains, Nintendo's telling other orgs, uh, you need a license, actually, to run your thing. Big thing is, how much are they actually going to enforce that and everything? I halfway feel like all the people that normally run the big tournaments, their companies and everything, will just get by scot-free. Just the Smash World Tour that got targeted. Yeah, no more Panda. Biggest org in Smash and FGC, they imploded from their decision-making. <laughs> kind of par for the course in these sports sometimes. And so sometimes the orgs are invincible, like FaZe. Remember Tfue? FaZe Banks? <laughs> Something never talked about that. And again, their CEO, CEO FaZe... Like, responded to the Tfue stuff and was like, phase the fuck up. It's just funny. Oh my god, I got ink all over my hands somehow. Too much splooning. Alright. Let's start back into this game. No battle mode. They won't even let you do... <laughs> battle mode tutorial in this one. Sad. Oh, so I need money in the game. That's why there's an X here. To figure out how to hold the gamepad and everything again. Yeah, the story there is pandas. Well, it's hard for me to give a big cliff notes for such a long thing, but. I dropped this guy off. What is even happening here? Do you have a freight card? I'd like you to bring me a vessel. Okay, write a memo. So on the map here will be like freight. Oh yeah, we're at the part of the game where we start delivering freight. Death Stranding. Yes, the first, the start of the Smash stuff is Smash World Tour. Two weeks before their grand final finale is supposed to happen. They bring all these players from around the world, like Japan, South America, or otherwise unknown, never get a chance in the spotlight. They were going to show up. Uh, you know, they had their flights booked or all packed. And then VGBC, the company mine Smash World Tour. Like, hey, we've been told we got to cancel by Nintendo. Like, we're in talks, like, at the beginning of this year, them saying we need a license. And then they finally just... No, they string us along, we're like, okay, I guess we just run without it, and they're like, uh, you have to stop. And behind the scenes, Panda was like, strong arming everyone to join just their tournaments. Specifically the CEO. You have to be with us. Because then there would be exclusivity. But a lot of esports orgs, bigger orgs are trying to do in each esport. Counter Strike is a lot of history of stuff like ESL trying to have a monopoly on the scene. 
Is it gonna be like Riot? Just be the game dev. Then you can have a monopoly and no one will, uh... bat an eye on it. So you're gonna Riot Project L, not... Well, that I'm... I'm the type that won't touch a Riot game. Alright. And too many topics. I gotta... I can't play the game and do this at the same time. Just looking at the gamepad like, where in the heck do I even go? Like, actually? I actually don't know. What was I doing in this game? I guess this guy says I need a freight car. I think... The bridge was fixed. I think I went back to backtrack in this part of the game. So I think I go through the portal? And I go back to the third part of the map. I think that's what I do. Okay, I remember the train controls. Now, Panda was a big esports war. They had a bunch of Smash players, fighting game players. And a bunch of people, like YouTubers, just making YouTube content for them. Commentators. Alright, I remember this game just makes you just look at the screen while it's... Actually, yeah, if I just... I could talk about this stuff while on the train. It's just it makes me look at the screen for the snowmen. I guess maybe, like, the panda's initial, like, reasoning to talk with Nintendo to start their Panda Cup series. So maybe not with good intentions. It's not why they initiated. Couldn't be that cynical look back at that. Even Panda themselves, like, when the, their Panda Cup was announced, was like, yeah, we're not really getting anything from Nintendo out of this. Like, they aren't sponsoring it, providing any prize money. They're a tiny footnote in the advertisements. Okay, so we go back to this portion of the map. I hope I'm not being stalled out. I just want to go to the ocean realm. I'd love to have to not worry about these uh, big train dudes. Yeah, both the Smash World Tour and the Panda Cup were both big Smash games. Ultimate and Melee. Now, come on. Okay, we got lucky. Stalled the train out. I don't know where the other portal goes. It sucks. It's not like the frogs. I have to remember where that portal goes, and I have zero clue. I think that's another side of the ice realm. And kill a company like Artesian Built. That was a different, it's a different funny situation. You just can't win a raffle. I'm not allowed. There's another teleporter exit here. There's not enough room on like the screen here to write where that goes though. Shoot the bird. Yeah, these are enemies that are in Breath of the Wild, like exactly. Like, they only appeared in this game, before Breath of the Wild. It's funny. Of all the games to take enemies from. Hold up. Let's go stop at the, uh... Here, just because there's a post box. Maybe? Shouldn't the day be, like, tomorrow? It's been like a week. Hey, kid. Shouldn't there be plenty of daily events? It happened. We're just not falling down yet. This place is kind of a bore for a cosmopolitan fella. They're gonna head in somewhere new. Well, looking for someone to build a fence in a nuki village? What's that have to do with me? I'm a bridge worker. Come on, I want to build some fence while I... True craftsman build anything he wants to? Hmm. I think I know more about what a craftsman can do than you. You get a point. Well, that fence, after all, we can go there right now. Eh, uh, sure. I didn't even know there was a side quest here, but sure. It was like half the game. 
Lugging people and objects places. St literally a strand type game. Except for more tedious. Let me save, because we can make this guy angry. Which wouldn't be fun. Actually, look at the rail map. Are there are two circles here. Yes. You need to plan out a route. Like, this this is literally a strand-type game. Drawing a route on the map. Looks like, yeah, we just want to go to the one teleporter. It's right here. To the north. Now, the Panda Cup is delayed. I'm wondering what's going to happen with all that. There were still sponsor obligations and stuff. Um, this is gonna suck. I could go the other way. I want. That'd still get me to that part of the map. It would just be slower. We go slow on purpose. Maybe we can go behind the bad train. It sucks. Why are both of these things in the way? Can we just pause? We can. I think my man's is still happy if we do that. So now we'll go around. So I guess the one thing is there might be signs that force us to go fast. Angry pig. Hey, you missed a whistle sign. Dude, I'm being shot at, dumbass. <laughs> Yeah, this system seen looks like it would be as tedious as it seemed. I'm not trying to make my customers happy is the system I'm worried about. You're in mortal danger. I think we're okay. Scary. Cause that's part of the way there. And then we just gotta make it to the village. So this was an easy r route. There's gonna be probably routes that make you go across the entire world. an NPC that gets really mad. That'll be fun. You got the idea. Am I gonna have a guy in the train that's just gonna jump out if they're pissed? What the heck happened to the sound there? Well, apparently the emulator on Wii U for DS actually just has issues. So, like, when the game randomly freezes on me, that's just the console.
Okay, we don't have to stop perfectly in the line. We're here already? Troop just flew by. Rested and ready to tackle the work. Here I go. Alright, are they gonna need lumber? Oh, they need water and wood, too. We're having to, like, build out entire towns. Hey there, little guy. What, the bridge worker? We express our thanks. A pearl necklace. Oh, aren't we? We're supposed to get, like, friendship with everyone, and that increases our power or something. That increases the... train power. Glad the bridge worker is here. We need lumber. Don't you have a freight car? No. I don't have any lumber. It's the cre key ingredient. Alright, well, bye. Maybe I can see how this game might be longer than uh, Phantom Hourglass. Navigating around the world is like twice as slow. There's no warps. At all. Now take the slow train route. Trains are better than... are worse than boats is what I'm learning from the Zelda series. to the smash stuff. The one thing is, other than the fact that just the world tour, Smash World Tour got cancelled. Which I was really looking forward to seeing like the players that no one's ever seen before on the big stage. That happened last year with their 2021 edition. I've never heard of J-Can. Some South American cheat player. Like the most, not the most crazy crack or anything, but I'm gonna get to learn another player's name, at least. Okay, so these guys are always on the same cycle. Yeah, there's nothing at the end of this year now. There was. Now there's a Ludwig event. I guess I mentioned that two weeks from now. It fills the void. Although how that how that's gonna go is a bit of a question mark. So they're having to last second fly people out. For some of them might have. I guess I don't know. It's not the same time that the Smash World Tour is going to be. So, like, some of the international players might not have that time free. Yes, we'll see. What's gonna happen next year? Who knows? Oh god, the angry piggy. Yeah, the pigs in Breath of the Wild look exactly like these ones. Interesting. Now anyway, it's Geralt and Fortnite. <laughs> More importantly, that's that's what we'll have next year. Everyone will retire from Smash, Nintendo just stuck, canceled every tournament. Everyone moves on to Fortnite. We're playing Doom Guy. Good content. Yeah, the scene will get revived in Smash 6 when they add Geralt and Doom Guy. And Spider Man. A completely new developer will take up the reins for Smash 6. Nintendo will just sublease it out. And they will see the light. Did I already do everything here? I think I did. Yeah, I haven't gone anywhere to the west here. So this is my mission. I 
I guess Doom Guy isn't smashed. It's the me costume. Just kind of for gore. Just some weird crossovers. With the me costumes. Alright, they reused the pirate theme. Dude, just like Phantom Hourglass. What? I guess the dolphins are supposed to be the frogs, but evolved. Like Rito and Zora. Right, let's go to stop number one. Is that a Korok? Oh, it's a bunny. What the fuck? It's an ocean rabbit. Okay. Yeah, I believe that. So what do I do? A triangle? For bunnies I caught? Insane lore. And Zelda has rabbits that just walk on water. Smash gets bought by Microsoft. Yeah, they, Nintendo just has Microsoft develop the next uh, Smash game for the hell of it. Alright, sup, dude. So, we meet again. Heard the ocean spirit tracks have returned. The tracks run underwater. What else? Say they're sculptures that react to big noises. Oh wow, this guy's literally just here to tell us to shout into the mic again. Okay. Remember the item where you just blow? The ocean realm. I wonder if there'll be a big dolphin, like there's a big frog. Another bunny. Okay. <laughs> These bunnies are easy to catch. Another rabbit. Now, where are all the bee costumes in Smash? Got a Doom Guy, there's Assassin's Creed. Is there a rabid? I don't think I don't think there is. There's the persona ones. I guess the ones that are like unique. It's their only representation in Smash. Sans. Is there nothing else here? Okay. I'm just gonna go straight ahead. Maybe like this? Is this the route? I'm gonna look for a statue to yell into the mic with. Like where we need to go. Just the world in this game is kind of Breath of the Wild esque, just in that there's a central landmark. You can see it everywhere on the map.
Nothing over here we can see. We got the desert as the fourth region of the game. And there's a pyramid to the north. I guess that makes sense. Oh god, that poppin. Brush the microphone. Maybe I was supposed to yell. Ah, oh, no! This one got away. I'll put B for bunny, so I gotta come back to that one. There might be a stop right here, so this might be an easy one to get, though. Impressive looking little, uh, tower thing. Ah! It looks like something I could interact with, but it's so far away. Maybe not. Yeah, there has to be a big dolphin. If there was a big frog, and they changed into dolphins. What we're being led to. It's a bread bead. Boo. Ah. Uh. Those dolphins are trying to swim into the land. It's a weird circle. There's totally nothing going on with that. I'm currently trying to remember what the heck you do in this game. Talking about, what was it, Master Chief and not Fortnite? Smashed. And Gerald and Fortnite. Okay, this train is going way too slow. I thought maybe there'd be something more interesting here. It's another bunny. Okay. These are easy rabbits to get. Got an ocean rabbit. You know, rabbits that just walk on water. Pretty normal. Okay, the dolphins jump if we blow the whistle. I didn't even notice that. shot at. Is that a teleporter? I don't even know. Oh god.
Oh my god, we're about to go down. Attempting something. What? We bumped this at like one mile an hour and the train explodes? Are you kidding me? Ah, game over. Why did I take one damage from that? Now I have to start all the way back here? Okay. Game sucks. Let's try this, maybe. Playing with Lego Train Simulator. Now, the game devs were tired of making Zelda games at this point, so they just made a train game instead. Replace the boat with a train. So there's no more freely drawing lines. shot at. I guess also there's as many pixels as a Lego. We can go back here if we need the hint on what the heck I'm even doing in the game next. Which I might need. The game said something about a statue, and I can yell into the microphone. Not sure what's up with that, though. Okay, I can shoot this guy. Powering the engine minigame? Surprisingly, no. Maybe at the end of the game? Like a hacking mini game. In Skyrim, except for you're powering the engine. I need something with the dolphin jumps. Nothing on this island, surprisingly. This is a puzzler. Oh yeah, also the Chonky Pigs are in this game. I guess now that the world is no longer flooded, they just took over the land. They're not in this part of the map, though, since it's water. No, this, this is just this one world. This is probably all you'll see tonight, though, because the puzzle for this area is going to take me five hours to complete. I guess it's 25% into this quarter of the map. something going on here? Ah! Is that something about shouting into the mic? So I gotta do that. Alright, this time I'm not getting shot down. There we go. Okay, I can't use that one to teleport either, lane.
Am I yelling here? Ah. I don't think I have to yell that loud. I'm just confused. I have one, two, three in the map here. There's another bunny. Got him. Okay, got this one. We are saving wildlife. That's what I'm led to believe. I'm taking the rabbits and rescuing them from the wild. That's what I've been told. Oh, there's the little statue. Oh, so maybe I do shout into it. Oh, I get it. Okay, so I think those are the statues I have to yell at. It's a little fishy. Ah! Ah! Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> There is something here, so I guess the game's on to something, but, uh... We're gonna have to go back to one, I think. A fire alarm in the dorm an hour ago. It was a false one. And it rang for 30 minutes, I see. That's why you're awake. The fire alarm has just been on. It did not stop. I have to fart? I don't think that would be loud enough. The DS and the Wii U gamepad mic are both not very good. They wouldn't be able to tell a fart from a... sneeze. Like, you can just put your finger over the mic hole, and that just counts half the time. Very finicky. But why do these guys respawn? I'm pissed. Do I have to... Oh my god. I don't want to fight you guys. Learning on command is a skill. It'll be highly desirable to employers. Okay, they give you a heart. Interesting. The dolphin. Well, there's another bunny here. I got him. I'm gonna have hella bunnies. Like, some of these don't spawn until... after you've caught others. Okay, well, where's the statue here? Ah! <sighs> Just blow into the mic. Is there like a YouTube tutorial how to fart? Not even- not even how to fart on command, just how to fart. I've never done it before. I need to know how. Oh, there it is. Oh, we didn't need to yell. We just needed to blow the whistle. That makes more sense.
I just want an excuse to yell. Yeah, I did not touch there. That was weird. Okay, I figured out the puzzy. Can you do fart about 90% of the time? Mike is cranked up to the max game. There's gotta be a streamer where that actually happens. That's their entire brand. Yeah, that's their entire brand, or they just don't even realize it. That's the only reason people are there. Just clipping them. Why are you guys laughing? I didn't say anything. I appreciate all of you showing up anyways. Oh wow, that's a long detection radius. Wait, did I miss the bunny then? There was a bunny back here, I thought. Maybe the bunny... are RNG? Oh, so the bunnies are RNG. Kinda. Maybe. I mean, I game overed. Yeah, because there was one over here, and it's not spawned here now. Interesting. That's weird. Do not look up farting on accident. <laughs> ASMR. How is that ASMR? Well, I want to know... Oh, there's the bunny. Maybe my theory is correct. Got him. Six, six, six is the time. The wild rabbit population is getting decimated. This is Australia. I've caught one, two, three, four, five, six so far. Forget Pokemon Scarlet. This is the critter catching game where it's at. Catch rabbits, pigs, dolphins. will not leave me alone otherwise. There we go. I'm close enough to where that works. Dude, it's the hogfish. The fish from... What's it called? Link's Awakening. Let's get chomped. Oh, interesting. It's breathtaking down here. Fish. Who knew the spirit tracks ran underwater? Well, that's Zoldo talking. Okay, now we have water missiles. Oh, it's these guys from Phantom Hourglass. Did I hit him? Where am I even going? Are there bunnies underwater here? Okay, we have a little air bubble. That's how we're alive.
Aw, the train whistle doesn't have like a muffled sound? That'd be funny. even heart hurting me okay they're just getting in my face this area looks cool if nothing else don't know if there's anything down here go straight here? Like, I'm a little loop-de-loop -loop just to explore? I think I'll do that first. Maybe. Actually, I probably should go straight in the temple just so I have a checkpoint if I die. It doesn't look like there's anything underwater here. Uh, that's a weird... Okay, that was a weird Z-axis thing. Z-fighting? Render the dude above the train. So now I have to run away from this guy. Just to get in the temple. Remember when I said we wanted a checkpoint? That's why I was going that way. Wonder if we just try and outrun him or what? I think he will catch up to us. We'll go the other way and hope it can't make turns like this. Oh no! Okay, I think we got this. Oh god, this other one's chasing me too. Okay, I have too many things to deal with here. Micromanagement. Okay, there we go. So now they're both chasing me. Should let me go into the temple? I guess we'll have to see if we can uh, outspeed this thing. The only issue. I don't see the guy behind us, but it's behind us on the map. This is a cool little set piece underwater train.
All right, now is the final troll. It's gonna spawn one more train. We have to turn around the long way. Playing the song. That train is nowhere near behind us yet. Yeah, I think we're good. The Ocean Temple has been made. Wasn't it called the Ocean Temple in the last game? Big main temple. We're gonna get some lore here. So here we are. Ready to go on in, right? Oh yeah. Zombie Ghost Zelda. Um, switch to Rang. Oh god, I forgot about the different voice. Wait, what is over here? Okay, so we get the swinging item in this level. The second is above here. What? Maybe you... I shouldn't have gone in this room. The fourth is above here. Okay, so we'll just draw one, two, three, four, I guess. And we need this on floor two. Ball. How do we get past the ball? Can we just... No. Can we just... No. <laughs> the shield is overpowered. Oh god, how do I turn this thing on? I think I accidentally just played it. Played the Song of Discovery. I right, well, forgot about that. So what I'm doing there is playing the flute. You know, it just looks like I'm awkwardly blowing into a Wii U gamepad. Bird song. Okay, blue, orange. Alright, wake up. That was a nice nap. Looks like you wouldn't know where to find a chest. Somehow we get a chest to spawn here, but probably we got to do something later. It's not an optional room, it looks like. Uh, okay, we need the dungeon item for this one. God damn it. Oh, we need to do the order.
Dang it. Alright, there we go. Just a little bit of memorization. sounds for getting hit. Dude, what am I even supposed to be doing here? Do I just jump in the hole? No. Okay, this is not cl that classic of a Zelda game. What do I do with the rock? Now, there is a blower thing. Do I need to blow? <laughs> that doesn't do anything. I'm confuzzled. Nothing here. Oh, maybe I can push... Can I push the rock the other way? Is that what it wants me to do? Why do I want the rock to be over here? supposed to do here? <laughs> you don't tell me. This is just a weird one. So it's more just, what were they thinking? Like, this is a dead end. So this is the only thing I can mess with, but... is a dead end otherwise. Yeah, my only thought is somehow we use the blower on the rock, but even then... So my only other thought is maybe this affects the lower floor? You need to... Jump off and die. That's what I need to do. Okay. What do I need to do? Maybe I go back. I just need to drop all those down the hole. That would be a really weird solution, but that could be the case. It's just we have to go so far back. Back to floor one. Still a way to unlock something here. What? Who knows? Nothing here. Okay, it's literally just the rocks here spawned in a different spots. So it was what I thought. It's not very intuitive. Uh, what is this? Can you get out the way, please? Can't blow on it. Can't explode it. Uh oh. Okay, I was about to say. No more HP. I am dead.
Okay, so both the chests here are super secret to get to. Oh, what was the song again? That's what this is supposed to look like, by the way. Some blowing. <sighs> song of Awakening. Okay, this was lame. I already knew there was going to be a chest here. This was a useless one of these. I'm blowing what? The microphone. On the Nintendo DS. TM. Of course. Alright, this looks like somewhere where I fight. Uh... This guy's got a whip. We blow on him? No. This guy's just punching me. Okay, we, we play a song then. While I'm on a leash, I'm just gonna blow. My flute. Dude, just cut the freaking thing in front of you. Okay, there we go. You're just supposed to get the cheap shot on him. Nothing any more complicated. And then you just throw a bomb at him. Oh, so it's the whip. Skyward Sword. That was one of the better items in Skyward Sword. Like, so the whip is the item we get next. Well, I shouldn't have done it like Twilight Princess, where we just literally steal it. I guess that is kind of unintuitive. We got the whip. Tap it to give the screen a crack. It's a snake. Rope snake. So just go straight ahead. Now we can go back here. Okay, you can't pull yourself to chests. It's no hook shot. Let's go back to floor one, just in case. You can do everything on floor one already. Okay, that's weird. We're just taking off the pricks of a... Plant. The demon fossil. Oh yeah, one of the treasures in this game is bees. Fun fact. Right, pulling this guy's tongue. There we go, we got all the secret loot. Dark pearl loops. <laughs> K, 
Okay, we got all the loot here. Now I just need to... Move forward in the dungeon. Does not look like I can go this way, so let's go... Up first? Oh. We have to use the top screen map to figure out when we can get across. Is this optional or is this the small key? Optional. This version of Link kind of sounds like Mickey Mouse. At least when they fall down and die. Okay, so that's just a ranged weapon. Yeah, we're given the illusion of choice here. We can only go one direction. Three handles sit before you. Hold only the one that's far away from you. Okay. Drop some money. Dang it, I wanted to test something. You can pick up money, like with the hook shot. What happens if we pull the other ones now? We get an epic prize? <laughs> nope. Okay, the whip can pick up loot. Which I think it could in Skyward Sword as well. Okay, this one's a pog fish. Okay, that's funny. That's a sword we can pull out of its mouth. Sword swallower. It's kind of deadly. Emulator froze for a minute. Hold my finger. Throat. Oh, this is where we already were. Why does this even link up? Now we have a whip boss. I had a guess. We have a... Slime with a helmet. Okay, can we wear it? Choo-choo. Another one of these. All right, we got quite a bit going on here. Three blades sit in a row. Retrieve them all. Okay, so we maybe we just need to. Okay, we can just. 
Yeah, these weird whip dudes. Too bad I can't scan them. Scan them with Zelda. Give me the analysis. What is their name? Jeff? Alright, gotta go for the spin attack. That does more. Copy that rule from, uh... What's it called? What is this? Okay, we got a helicopter. Where are we dropping? What is going on? Who thought of this idea? Okay, there's just a way to get to another part of the map. An attack drone. It's the thing that Snake rides in Smash Brothers. Helicopter drone. Oh no, they're immune to whip. Oh, do we have to use this sword on him? Okay, that's kind of creative. Oh, so we're more of just throwing them at them. Kind of awkward to use, though. Yeah, like, why is this missing? Come on. There we go. You have to touch, like, beside them instead of actually touch them. Okay, so this was just to activate this part of the level. That was it. Return to the drone. I'm guessing we gotta take the swords from the bottom pog fish and bring them to the top fish. Oh, except for we can't really move these ones anywhere, okay. Oh, I think this was a puzzle solution. It was find the ones that are three in a row and pull from them. Steal from the fish. What happens if I do this one? Feed the fish. Okay, they're just the wrong ones. Some silly looking guys. Things are known as swordfish. Okay, they only regen the sword if you break them. I don't know if there's a puzzle there, but we'll just move on. I wouldn't think so. I think the puzzle was just figuring out which set to interact with. Oh, we had to drop down for a bit. Okay. 
What does this one do? Yo, why would changing the height of that one matter? I guess that just lets you go back. Remember the placement of the blades. Oh, okay. We copy this downstairs and we get a super special secret. Okay. I got a binary sequence here. And okay, it's the same on the other side. Oh, so if we didn't do that one room, we just wouldn't get this optional loot. Which is not optional, it's just a small key. Kill. I'll note this one down just in case. Like a fish scale or something would be a treasure here. If it gives me bee larva, that makes no sense. Okay, with the pirate necklace. Only worn by one who's destined to become a leader of pirates. Well, I guess we're in. Maybe we go back and do the sequence. Maybe it's not optional. A long way to go, though, to get back. So we have to slowly shift these over in order to set them correct. This should be right. Out too. I don't know if that actually did anything. Oh, I have a small key though, so I can go down here. I don't even know. Maybe it was important.
Hold up. Let's see what the switch does. Okay, it was only the first dungeon that had a boss key thing. Puzzle. Maybe. Say that. Alright, seems like in this one we just have to kill him. Ah, oh, we can't whip the key to take it. Okay, yeah, it seems like you just had to kill him in this one. Scary hands. No, like, puzzle, though. Oh, we never did find the stamp station. Oh, because it was a little optional area. In, like, the first floor. Oh my god. We have to go all the way back just for a little extra? I think... I think we'll just do the boss since we're right here, and then we'll backtrack to that room. Just can't forget. It was that bomb wall. It's a little collectible in every area of the game. It's a little stamp. Oh god. Alright, let's see who the big bad boss of the Ocean Temple is. And go with a big view. It's just a climbing tower? Oh, it's the top of the temple we saw from outside, okay. <laughs> oh, since we don't have arrows, that's what we gotta do. Alright, so we're just fighting a plant monster, it seems. Fighting it on a helicopter. Maybe. Okay, bye! Just sitting there, chilling. Alright, here we go. Now we actually get to do the boss. Do we still have to touch this in the cutscene? Okay, no. That'd be funny. Just accidentally let go and you have to drop back awkwardly. Fly tops, the barred menace. Okay, I guess we were just on that cool thing for looks. Oh, dude, it's just like the one boss from Skyrim Sword. Tentacle dude.
Alright, so this is what we were supposed to do the first time. It's kind of a speed rumble boss. Okay, good thing. We just respawn up here. Oh, we just need one more. I let go of the button. Why are you gonna walk so far away? Alright, this guy's kind of just a slow boss. Surprised we don't just have to pop all the pimples on this guy. Oh god, we got yeeted. I got him. I barely took any damage. The enemy did. There we go. Force gem get. Oh, maybe this is what activates the shortcuts. I can't tell if it's single screen or two screen cutscene. I think just the one. Okay, so not quite the final floor of the tower, because that's what the fourth dungeon's for. You think we just go straight back? That might be what unlocks the freight car. It's like the actual game. It's the freight car. That could have been my stream gag here. First strand type Zelda. Ocean rail map started glowing. And give me some thoughts and get notepad open. Let me just go ahead and write that down so I for don't forget. All right. This game I can have the spicy stream titles. Ocean mail map is glowing. Time to go back to the Tower of Spirits again. Oh, this is still in two-screen mode. Let's go back to the Tower of Spirits. We. Looks cool, but time to go back. Back to one-screen mode. Never get big. Y'all never... We'll never learn. 
I'm just instead of just having a poob stream title, think of in five seconds. Can be something a little more clever. All right, so this is where the stamp station should be. Now, why did I not go that way? Okay. Another one of these to hit? Oh, okay. There we go. There's another secret part of this I have to activate first. Okay, this is just a switch to make it so we can get across. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is all of this is just for the stamp station, which is kind of funny. No, I was in the right spot. Oh no. There we go. Oh, what? I was tapping just to turn. I got trolled again. All right, we're just gonna keep calm. Don't press any buttons. It's a stamp station. All right, there we go. This is a cool looking stamp. I got the ocean temple. I can't even tell what this is. Yeah, according to the game, it's still only 1129. I actually don't get that because the Wii U's like turned on. I don't turn the power off completely. Why is the clock messed up like that? Strange. Off to the next train stop. I'm gonna ride the train? And Zelda's not even doing anything in the story right now. They're just here for the ride. Literally. Okay, the spawn is out of the water. Beetle is here. They might have something new, I guess. So I'll try to go to Beetle first, then. It's your personal ghost. Personal assistant. This teleporter is still not usable. Why is Beetle running? I'm gonna have a hard time intercepting Beetle. Way too quick. Where we just were on the outside. Maybe I got all the bunnies. I think they're in this chunk of the map. I 
Oh, uh, in this game, Link just becomes the castle, and Zelda says, Go on this quest for me. Do this. Basically it. somewhere to actually land here. Oh, Beetle's thing is a sh aqua balloon, so he can just land wherever. Ah, oh, really? We're not close enough? You have 45 points, valued customer. Goron Amber, a thousand rupees? Fine, we gotta get the points from Beetle. There's a hard bug in it. Fine. Point total is 145. Rack up 200 to become a silver member. This guy is hustling me. Alright, let's go back to the main tower, I guess. Unlock the next chunk of the game. Surprised we get to what at least we perceive as Act 4 pretty quickly. I don't know, maybe the actual main part of the game is pretty short. It's just this game will keep you very busy if you do all the... Death Stranding missions. Oh, what if I shoot them as they jump? Oh, that does work. Do they just disappear? I guess that's more realistic. They just disappear if you shoot them. Figures. Wildlife isn't cool with you just shooting them. Barely. May or may not be bunnies around here. Dolphins are back. They finally forgave me. Another bun bun. Oh, I missed. Okay, we got him anyways. Another bunny. So I assume at some point I'll have to look up a guide just to find like the two rabbits I'm missing. Stuff in the desert, I can see. This looks like a cool little enemy base. 
something. Can't park here, though. Hello? Why would the camera not turn that way? That was weird. You know, the camera in this game's glitching out. I guess because the solid wall... Strange. Bunny's here. All right, back to the Tower of Lore. Spirits. And Jean, spirit tracks between here and the Ocean Temple have reappeared. Now there is one temple left until all the tracks are restored. Once they are, we'll begin able to enter the altar of the Demon King. It's one more step. Next temple is hidden in a mountain of fire. First we gotta do the recurring dungeon. Alright, switch scenes just because this does look cool. In wide mode. Phone graphics. All like a phone game. Okay, we get the more epic song the higher we go up. That's it. Nothing else is in the two screen format. Oh, we got the eye scene guys now. Get to a new level. What's in store for us? We've seen so many enemies. There's nothing that can stop us now. Right? Well, why are you mumbling? You know I'm right. Even if you are scared, just try to put that out of your mind. I'm pretty sure the monsters can smell fear. Or is that just deodorant? Cologne. Okay, one of these seeing eye guys is camping the collectible. Okay, summon some loot. Yeah, I know they work to us, but we're literally in the safe zone. Okay, they instantly warp to you in this one, though. Just gotta be really careful about the guys. Yeah, so we either have to boomerang them, or... They made them tougher, since I guess they're not as much of a threat in this one. I don't know if there's any reason to... Uh-oh. guys suck. Dude, what the heck? I hit you! Alright, did these guys not get hit by the boomerang anymore? That's weird. So that'd be good to learn. Yeah, they don't. That's weird. Why would they change that? Thank you. 
Okay, they're just a lot more finicky in this one. Hmm, there's this whole area up here. Yet how do we get to it? Okay, not timed. Good. Look at the little pogfish dudes. Oops. <laughs> okay, we can't reach that. Oh, interesting. I guess not all the eyeball guys are permanently dead. Oh, you're kidding me. I messed up the throw? the better fish. Not that one. There we go. I'm gonna summon the loot. Properly. going here, okay. No! Are you kidding me? I didn't realize that was the only spawnable ground. Listen, this one, yeah, this doesn't mean anything. There's no timer. That's just lame. Now I have to just backtrack for no reason. Okay, well, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I might as well just reset. I just literally didn't know if they would see me if they're on a different level. The answer is yes. Alright, that... The problem is in the first iteration here, Phantom Hourglass, there was like a reward for killing all these eyeball guys, but I think that's gone in this one. Okay, I think I found a new bug in the game. Let's see. This is a good opportunity to get, like, a little arm break. Let this guy swing away. He's trying. Bless his heart. They want to be the next version of Ganon. The state machine has broken. Alright, I'm bored. I guess they did it different. These guys respawn, so I gotta be careful. I'm quick. Alright, there we go. Just for one little piece of the puzzle here. Alright, now this is the hard part. Getting out of here.
I don't think I can get out of here without being seen. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's not use a bomb. Oh, okay. Well, pulled the trigger on that one too early. There we go. Oh, did it despawn the treasure, or is it just not showing on the map? I think it's just not showing. Yeah, that'd be silly if it despawned. That's what I thought. I think now we have the... Nope. Oh, there's two different switches we gotta hit. Or something. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this area to the side. I have a small key, and that didn't really do anything. I think we just go up a floor. It's all the super treasure, though, I can get. the loot. I guess maybe we just come back the other way. That could be the case. Alright, take care, Redby. Hopefully there's no more false fire alarms. The bored prankster. Find their next target. Got to distract this guy with the bomb or a boomerang hit. All right, so that was easy for me to figure out because I already played Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> now that we have all three tiers of light, we can now take control of the Phantom. Wait, why do you just despawn? Okay. Phantom mode. Check it out. I'm a warp phantom now. You know those eyeball monster things? They're called phantom eyes. Draw on to a phantom eye. I can teleport straight there. Sounds so nice. I'll never have to walk anywhere again. Okay. Okay, but she does also kill it. So I guess, uh... We might be able to actually kill all of them this time.
No, that doesn't give me anything. Yeah, because that one respawns still. The palace dish. Okay, so we use this to teleport around in the other part. We can't do anything else here. Oh, interesting. Um... It's all fine and dandy, but we gotta, uh... There we go. Now we're good. Okay, so we can just possess a new one. Yeah, like, we can't teleport up here. Oh, so now we can teleport the other way. So we get rid of all these guys first. Oh, so we don't get anything for... Killing the phantoms? Oh, because they don't stay dead. That's so lame. Why is this game of respawning enemies? Well... <laughs> oh my god. Like, how do we make the stuff from Phantom Hourglass even more tedious? What if the enemies just respawn? Okay, so this is just to get Zelda back near you if you need them to. Although, okay, the one phantom on the other side does stay dead. Never mind. Ah, oh, sweet freedom. I'm so happy. And just kill. Okay, so they make everyone endlessly respawn in this one, so we gotta make sure we're all right here. Wait, really? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> it worked, except for it didn't. There's two different sets of treasure I can't access. I wonder if... Oh, I know for one. Oh, for both of them. I know how to get them. Get rid of these guys temporarily, because we're nowhere near a safe zone. So we just ride on top of Zelda. Okay, I guess the whole group's got to sit in the safe zone.
There we go. Mega loot. Goron Amber. Of course, now we gotta walk all the way around. I think. Nope. Alright, gotta hurry. Walk all the way around the other way in order to use Whip. Alright, I like this. A little bit of Phantom Hourglass touch. Get every last collectible from here. We're gonna get seen, though, aren't we? An ancient gold piece. Okay. Ocarina of Time era currency. Lore. Okay. Wait for me. Except for my man's is invincible. of these guys that are camping us. So this is just like for two floors. By the way. There we go. That was just to get to floor 14. Ridiculous. Although I guess I'm most of the way through this. Okay, you can just have Zelda kill these guys for us. I'm sinking! Well... Okay... Wasn't sure how that was going to work. <laughs> okay, the AI is not very smart. It will just summon... It will not come to you in a very smart fashion. Yeah, it'll just try to walk straight forward. Okay, come on. Lame. Shouldn't have to be that specific. Wait on Zoldo here. Oh, it's a swapper. I was calling them this very simply done. Yeah, the AI is not smart. So they're like, hey, you just gotta draw a line. Deal. That was a simpler floor, but I guess that was a floor I've already been on. Another swapper. There's a lot of swappers on this one. Okay, that was a slow burn puzzle dungeon, huh? And we can't permanently kill anything, which sucks. Oh, well, the phantoms exist only to screw us over in those few specific spots. And so Link's job is just to sit around here.
switches here. Can't really touch those. I guess they respawn so you can't get stuck, but I don't know. I don't like this system. So I guess that's why this one exists too. Alright, well I guess we'll keep it simple. We'll just walk to the right. Line Rider. This is how this game is nine hours long. It's not that there's that many areas in the world. It's just that this part takes forever. Alright, just wait on the triangle. Take a little handbrake. I can't do anything about them if I don't have items. Oh, I need our buddy to take care of this. Okay, so this lets me just walk across. It's a block for something. Oh, is it just for the switch puzzle? Calling it a puzzle is a stretch, but it's just for the switch. That's one way to do things. I guess we'll do that to get them across. There's multiple ways to skin the cat. Actually, there's sand in the way. So I guess that's the only way to do it. Oh, do they both get to sit on the switch? Oh, okay. Alright, then this works out. Oh, they're trying to show you with the whip. You don't even need Zelda. Okay. Sorry, you're obsolete. Small key? Yep. that was here? Yeah, I think that's all that was here. I'll take a sweep around now. So the problem here is like, what else is there even to do? So that whole area to the right there was just one small key. that after we go activate the other thing to the left. Which I don't know if is possible.
Mm, I hope I don't need to do this again. That hurts, you know. Okay. There's not too much banner between the princess and Link. For their first adventure together. Alright, this probably lets me get across. Maybe not. Maybe something this way does. Okay, we're just out and about. Oh god, the emulator was choking there. Okay, so this is how we get Link across. So I guess we get him across, and then we have to just trek. Yeah, we just have to walk Zelda all the way back across. Fun. We warp here, and then we gotta walk all the way back. And then we can actually do the area. Essentially. Link hitting the gritty. Yeah, I might as well hit the gritty now. We're gonna be sitting here for a while. Like those memes of people just riding a vehicle in Fortnite. They're in the back. Just doing the dance. It's happening now. Actually, it literally is this game. Link's just riding on top of Zelda and doing the gritty. And doing the Carlton. I know what we gotta do here. I'm gonna have Zelda be an obstacle in the way here. Where do I got motorcycles now? Let's see, yeah, that used to be like Fortnite's one of their defining things was their game didn't have vehicles. And they I guess they changed their mind. Okay, now this is the mega puzzle. Vehicles and rideable animals now. They put everything in Fortnite. There's just a single player campaign within the Battle Royale map. Custom missions. So we gotta hit that switch somehow, but we need... Spice. Not really sure what we're doing here. There was a block on the other side of the map, and I don't think that's relevant. Yeah, I'm sinking. Well, don't sink. In the sink. Can we just whip her across? I kind of doubt. Forget you gotta actually blow with this item. Hmm, there's not any other switch we could hit or anything. I mean, can I just do a bomb?
I don't think they'll let you use bombs. <laughs> okay, well, rip. The AI phantoms get confused? What the hell? They didn't go after me. Mega puzzle. We're so close. Do I just blow her across? Whip her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can. That's funny. Okay, that was good. Oh, you're kidding me! As soon as I figure out the puzzle, I get discovered. It actually works properly that time. Lame. Okay, let's try this again. So the problem is it'll respawn on me. I don't even know if we can blow Zelda far enough. Maybe. I'm just gonna wait on the eye guy to respawn. So it's gonna respawn at the most inopportune time. That might have worked. Maybe I'm just not close enough. <gasps> nope. That actually does kind of work, but... Not quite. Oh, maybe we blow the thing she can warp to? Not really sure how we manipulate that, though. I guess we can stun it and then blow it around. Oh, we probably can just pull it around with the, uh, whip. Strange. It probably just stays in place afterward. I mean, if not, I don't know how else you solve this. No, that just kills it. Which does make sense. I mean, I only have so many items. <gasps> I'm halfway surprised you don't just blow her across, but... <gasps> I can't blow this thing... away. I don't care if that's the solution, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I guess that is a solution. Gotta get cr extra creative. Alright, so now we can actually just finish the dang thing. Thousand year long puzzle. That's everything here. That might be it. I don't know. Or there's like one more floor. These floors are long though. Okay. Still going. Move from the green to the red.
Two different ways to go here. I guess that's all we can do here. There's no way this is like the... I don't know how we're supposed to walk this way. Just to form a special symbol. It's like, uh, what? There's an X on the other side, is that what you mean? X gonna give it to you? I'm like, how do I know what's a perfect X here? Surely. No. Your path will form a special symbol. Let's go to the other side. Maybe we get a hint over here. Okay. Thought maybe that would let me teleport here. bomb drops. These are rare in this game for some reason. Okay, my issue is here, how do you form an X like this? You can talk to this guy. The path I'm walking has a special meaning. Oh, okay. So we gotta f trace the path of that dude. Talking to the Phantom gives a hint. Although they kind of just go... I don't know, what way do they go? So far they just walk straight down. Oh, do they just make a triangle? Is that it? Is he just making the backwards end to teleport? I already tried that, I thought. I guess you can walk back and then make an X. Alright, I'm gonna guess my man's is making an umbrella shape. goes back. 
You try doing the yoinky splinky. No. Only the luddy. Oh god. This is not gonna work. How even of a line do you have to draw here? I hope not very. Alright, game said close enough. Good. We did it. Don't leave without me. Alright, the AI should just be able to teleport straight to you. Especially since we're the teleporting... Phantom type. Good enough. What's the new dance craze to take over the world? Okay, we finally made it to the end. That was a longer one. We got all the extra bonus loot, which is not as major in this game. It's not like an upgrade item for completion. The fire rail. Okay, so now I got the Gerudo Desert slash Goron area. Got a tiny amount of spirit tracks. <laughs> this is your handiwork, is it? How do we high-five a ghost? It's the dude. Storing the spirit tracks. Rebuilding this tower. You two were behind it all, weren't you? And too bad we don't have our phantom armor. We didn't have to come with this, you know. We should pull out our, uh, whip. You just mind your own business. I forgot this guy was in the game. I wanted their cool villain guy, but he never appears. Unlike Vati and Jirheim. Stop, burn. Okay, he's an evil cyborg guy. I suspected this day would come. Their premonition the day you left the tower. No matter how many times I corrected your behavior, you never were very good at listening, were you? You were an unworthy apprentice. Now look at you. How can I face the spirits of good? The spirits sent us here to continue their work. That you would try to resurrect the Demon King? It's unfathomable to me. I have no wish to continue the work of the spirits. What do I want to serve the spirits? I can become as powerful as they are. was the reason I came to study with you. The spirits never answered me. For how hard I worked or how long, they never granted me any more powers. Tell me, former master, you realize that your wish will never be granted? What do you do then? And the answer was clear. I'm even more powerful than the spirits themselves. The only being more powerful is the lattice. <sighs> Triforce of Pala. Your thoughts are twisted. Obvious that the time for saving you is past. My worms would only be lost on you. Hurry the fire temple, your highness, quickly. The YouTube person that can actually do stuff. Restore the spirit tracks. I was warping them out the way. But Angene... Go. We'll handle this situation. Okay, bye. Now then. Shall we begin? Alright, old lady fighting in a wheelchair. 
Perhaps this time things will be different. You all right there? No. Dead. But Angie, she's up there all by herself now. And you had a bomb in your pocket. So let's believe she's okay. Let's do as she said and go to the fire temple. Just hurry to restore the spirit tracks in time. Alright, she's gonna be back as a spirit next time we come here. Strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you could ever imagine. Calling back to the Death Mountain, a link to the past song. Let's hurry there. Let's go. I saw the rail map, the fire realm. It's in the fire and snow realm. What realm do we go to? Okay. Uh, go to forest realm first. Of course, we're probably gonna have to backtrack to get the fate freight car, anyways. Like, I just want the freight car. Let me do all the side missions become a porter oh, this is kind of too far away from anything good though I did have like stuff that need the whip to access as well I can go sell my loot. There's a lot I can do. Oh, the ain't evil trains are gone from here. Instead, we got more piggies. Kill. So that's nice. See if there's anything we can do here. I saw you driving your train. Looks like you know what you're doing. Teacher? I'm embarking on a journey to see every station I can. Mind if we catch a ride in your train, teacher? Quite the imagination there. You can mistake me for someone else. Please, may I board your train? Okay. Don't worry about your compensation. I've got plenty of money. Only ask that you drive safely. Take him somewhere on the train and drive safely. I'd like to go into a nuki village. Alright, we're getting dragged along. Getting passengers. Don't really want. So we don't have the freight car yet. Oh, we have the little mini dungeon where I can't take hits and I gotta fight a... What's it called, dude? I don't really see a way to get these chests. So the whip doesn't really act as a hook shot. The rails have disappeared, but they're back. Let's see if the store is anything that I doubt. The tracks are back. Dragon skate drill is a 20 tre it's a treasure item. I don't know how much it sells for, though. 150. Why would I get it then? Oh, yeah, the, the treasure items are crafting items. I forgot about that for the train. And do that or just get money. No one here still. No, my husband has vanished. Such a gentle man. See how he's with rabbits. Hope he's not hurt. Seen him? Yep. Take me to him? Not now. Can you say something so horrible? Okay, so we got a little 
A bunch of porting missions. Link Porter Bridges. No new mail, surprisingly. I don't know what's with the clock on this. It won't progress time. is not for very distant objects. Yeah, the whip wouldn't do me any good here anyways. It's puzzling. Maybe we get like a jump item? I don't know. Seems like we need more item. So do we go ahead and do the little gauntlet? This might as well. It's stressful. I don't think it's actually that hard, but it is stressful. It's like you're back. A bit more confident. Wanna go against level 2 varieties? Enemies? And cost 50 for an attempt. Alright, we'll save after the fact. So we can redo then. Alright, off we go. Oh, there are more of them. Play it very safe. Yeah, if you try and actually move, you just get hit. Oh, yeah. Because the combat in this one is worse. Because if you double tap, it just thinks you're trying to roll. Like, turns out the double roll change is not good. At least to me. The game doesn't make you like roll that any at anyways. All right, I'm guessing I might have to use a healing item. It doesn't just force me. Got more bombs. I do like how the battle theme in this one is just Four Swords remixed. It's a good battle theme. It's one of the be one of the few good songs from that game. Can I just whip him? Oops. Okay, whip is kind of good in here. Does he have bombs or a completely optional item? I have not had anything that requires using him. Okay, if you didn't figure this out, you're a little screwed. I'm guessing you can defeat them the Phantom Hourglass way, if nothing else too, but... Oh, we already have the boss. Okay, this guy was first item when you got a blow on him. Why would they make us re-fight him? So I guess the final one is probably all the bosses all at once. I don't even know. They won't let us use whip, probably. We just gotta blow the farts. This one's at least a calm one. The beetle boss. I think the second boss was the only, like, tricky one. Yeah, they won't let us use whip. Oh, he's got different stuff. Okay. <laughs> no, 
think he ever swiped me like that before. Hit the fart. Because we just don't walk too close to him. Whip gang. I can't use the whip though. I did kind of forget the whip was in Skyward Sword as well. So this game took some stuff. That game took some stuff from this one. It kind of makes sense, I think. I don't know. How the dev teams operated. Oops. again. And I think it just keeps going after this one. This is just the first boss. Probably at least redo one. Alright, got him. simpler one. I think the second boss is the one that might get me killed. Do they make me walk to exit this one? Yes. The cool little 3D view. Yeah, that's what I thought. It just keeps going. Oh my god, so many rats! Well, the issue is it interprets you tapping so much as rolling, which does not help. Oh my god. Please. I'm trying to tap the rats and it won't even consider it. There we go. I mean, these rooms are the hardest ones, because it just won't register your clicks. Yes, yeah, so this is just boss rush mo mode. The man behind the slaughter. No more ratatouille. So if I had to guess, we will just go up to two bosses here. I forget what you even do against these guys. Below? Yes. That's all I can do. <laughs> okay. Worth? <laughs> Alright. Silly room. I wonder if the whip is effective. It probably was. Oh well. I've never seen these before. I'm guessing... Okay, this guy does not like the whip. Easy. Next boss. Yeah, this is the weird one. Need boomerang? Oh yeah, this is the fire ice one. Where the patterns are weird. He's gonna be the one that gets rid of my uh, HP. Oh, this one actually isn't 3D. You can switch back. All 
All right. Okay, I just don't remember what to do in this one now. Swipe around. So now I gotta wait on him to blow. Bowser fire. Uh oh. Okay. I wonder if it's like a speedrun strat to leave the fire ice from the last phase. Oh my god. No! God damn it. Aw, oh, you're kidding me. I was like a second too slow. Really? It's gonna stall me out because of that. So there's like a timer for this too. If you actually want to speed run it. Oh god damn it. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna take forever. Can't believe I was like a millisecond off. So I'm just not allowed. No! The ice disappeared! Are you kidding me? Why do they want you to be this quick in, like, an awkward touch control game? It just frames off every time. Alright, there we go, finally. This last phase. Oh my god, again! I don't even remember that being an issue before. Like, before when I fought this boss, that didn't happen. It wasn't, I just got shot every time I tried to hit the boss. Okay, there we go. I guess you just gotta move away. Explodey boy. I guess they couldn't think of a way to make this boss fight dual stream looking, so they just didn't bother. It doesn't really need it. It's a shame they didn't do the style of boss in A Link Between Worlds. It would have looked cool. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm gonna die because there's two of them. Uh-oh. Alright, there we go. The actual whip gang. So I guess I probably have to do the third boss. I hope my blue potion comes in handy here. Oh, won't let me use whip? Oh, this is no items. Wow. Okay, dying shouldn't be a big deal because... Uh-oh. Have the revive potion. And the bomb drops. I haven't really needed to use bombs. This is weird. There's just no items. It's been jinxed. I have my Fortnite shield potion. It is blue. More revive me. I've been downed. Zelda, please revive me. Okay. This is a silly room. It did make me take damage, though. Oh, they won't fall into the pit. Alright, we're almost dead. Okay, you got the... F Can we kill the boss with zero HP? I'm guessing this is the end. So there was only like a couple floors. I guess we'll learn if the blue potion comes into effect. Might just use the red potion, so I don't even have to figure that out. Drink the potion? Alright, here we go. We just need, like, two hearts. This boss isn't even, like, hard enough to need more than that. This looks familiar. Did I fight this today? Are you kidding? That was a wombo combo. I got stuck there and that was it. Oh no, not again. But why is this one not just like auto- This one should just automatically trigger the cutscene. Once you use it. It's silly. Alright, there we go. It's a cool little cutscene thing where we're just sitting here on the hover helicopter thing, but... Hmm. Be cocky. We're somehow getting hit a lot. Uh oh. Yeah, like, keep, keep t taking hits. I'm just gonna die because it's hard to not take a hit in here.
Okay, last well, set. Uh, okay, well, that works. Oh my god, we're getting pushed so much. Okay, we got lucky. Got him. That's the whole boss rush. So I guess there will be a third one? I don't know. Kinda weird. It might be a third one that is only available after the final boss. It makes you do the final boss. And so it could be... Just the fourth boss. That's just not much more content. For information, your time was 20 minutes in this. Here's your prize. We got the medium bomb back. Expecting big things. Alright. That was kind of worth. It was not super, really, but it was okay. <laughs> Wasn't not worth it. Very surprised the daily cycle in this game. Yeah, it just hasn't occurred. Still thinks it's November. I don't get that. I tried Googling this too. No one has played Wii U VC games enough to know how the clock works. Let's hurry. All aboard. Alright, I'm not holding this right. And then arms are feeling fatigued. Um, we're gonna have to do something like this to get over there. To follow all the signs, make our customers happy. Except for they aren't even paying us. That's it. That's how you drive a train. October. It's no longer December. Uh-oh. Am I gonna get owned here trying to go for a warp? It's a little too late now. I don't think so. I think this one just goes in a circle. Where are these guys respawned? Just to troll me here? Slow down just to get in the warp. That's how you drive a train. Why are these guys backseating me? Dude, just let me drive the vehicle. Don't worry about how I do it. Got one little piece of the tower in the center of the map that needs assembly now. We still need the freight upgrade. Then we unlock, like, the real part of the game. Pay attention to what you're doing. Do not give a frick. Now he's only- he's still smiling, so I guess he doesn't care as much. Alright, had an enemy.
All right, this game is tough. We made him there. Not bad. Here's your fee. 100. Keep working on improving those driving skills. Because depending on how well we did, the more money we get. We still need lumber. Yeah, I don't have any money, so Beetle is no use to me. I gotta go sell some stuff. Wanted to go to him, but I'm too early for that. Alright, I'm gonna set the console down. Oh man. Trying to play this is fit. I don't know. I guess I'm holding this like more uncomfortably than with Phantom Hourglass. This is fatiguing me more. So I discovered holding the console to the side. it going to take to get to this warp? They've been right in front of me for a while. Now we want to go back to the... this area. Whittleton. So we can use whip here, if nothing else. And I guess we want to go back to Castletown. You can deliver someone's husband. You gotta go back by that place anyways. Right, before we do that, we can get money. Fortunately, the navigation in this... You know, they, I don't know, the navigation's more of a chore in this one. In Phantom Hourglass feels. They knew you, it's like, since you're in a straight line, there's nothing to look at. They just make you do, worry about all these trains in the way. They just slow you down. store here too. I have no money once again though. So you know what? Not even talking to you. Wanna buy the best tree in the whole forest? You have to transport it. Alright, so now we should be able to make it through here. There's the bees. Oh, the stamp station was here already. We didn't have to do anything crazy about that. Well, it's still 1129, supposedly. Happy November 29th, everyone. And a little bit over here. I can't believe I thought the stamp station was gated, but it was already here. I guess if there's any suspicious spots, I gotta play the weird song. It's a rare thing to forget about. I think it's easy to forget. Especially since it's not an item you can use. Interesting mini game, dude. Scary.
Why have you found us all the way back here? Ultimate place for thrill seekers. Try your hand at a whip race? Uh-oh. Can you explain how to play? There's only one rule. Use your whip to go across the finish line. Alright, here we go. Classic tune, though. A long one. If we look at the high score, up. Oh. Okay, so just knowing the course. Now I know the mix ups. It's just like an execution challenge. Uh-oh. Oh, they changed the perspective on us. That's trippy. Oh, we're too late. Ooh, just barely got the high score. Cross the finish line. Time was 128 be the average. Just keep practicing. The biggest bomb bag. Just 50 rupees. Uh, okay, that was an interesting attempt at a minigame. Back to small mode. Big mode. Looked cool. I'm sure there's a, is there a reason to do it again? Oh, oops. Okay, so now that I know what to expect, it should be a little easier. Basically, just there's two spots we gotta dip, and that's it. Cool they let you see it in the top, the finale. Perspective change here is weird. All right, I got a 10 second improve. Nice work. Not a single miss. Your time is 118. You broke your record. Passable effort. All right, these guys suck. Guessing that's as much as we get from these guys then. Would hope so. Might, might actually skip if I gotta do more. Unless it's by like one second. Not even sure what you get a time save from. Bees. Oh, don't hurt the bees. Okay, this game's trying to tell an Aesop. Do not harm the bees. Just let them buzz. Let's go get some money, and then we'll go deliver this lady her husband. So it's really the other way around. Mm 
Uh oh. Good thing they're not actually in our way. Once we get the freight car, this will be the part of the game that feels more unique. The Death Stranding element. Beetle is still here, so it'll be a quick and easy beetle trip. I don't know. Alright, got any loot for me? Can line the treasure company help you with? Sweeter words have never been spoken. Ancient gold. 500. We have six of these. Rudo crown. Bee larvae. Once they're worth 50, might as well just keep their crafting ingredients probably. Don't toy with me, Squirt. Real ring, 2,500. Thanks, Squirt. Alright, I think that might be enough for the Anuki heart container piece. You get an upgraded cannon? Wood heart. Bee larvae. Yeah, they want you to carry so many things. It's like, I need the money, though. Come on. I guess there will be a way to farm treasure. I mean, I guess that one mini game is a way. The daily thing, but it's not even working today. Postcards. Alright, we'll go back to the castle now. Let this lady see her husband. Aw, uh, Beetle's not right here. Sad. I feel like if the train was more chill, honestly, like as a stream game, this would be better. Take the train and talk about the new Fortnite update. And then once I land, then I get to play, actually play the game. Don't all these enemies that pop into the stuff just feel like distractions. Like I just am forced to interact with them, even if I don't want to. I hope I beat the other train this way. So the trains are about to run into each other. I'm gonna get owned here, aren't I? Like, I just want to go to Castletown. Why are you gonna make me deal with these stupid things? Uh-oh. I am not going to beat it. Well... Like, this is so lame. I was... Really? You're just gonna waste my time? Like, I picked the wrong route, so now I gotta do it again. I do think these these evil train obstacles are like really lame. The fact that you just insta game over if you touch them. <laughs> like there's no equivalent in Phantom Hourglass. It's like this is not interesting gameplay. This is just gating me from doing the actual gameplay in the castle town. We 
might have lucked out with a better train cycle this time. I think the same thing's gonna happen, just if I try and go full bore. Yeah, these guys are just gonna cut me off. Which I guess means I just have to go behind them. It's kinda silly. Alright, should be good now. These things don't back up, at least. I wonder if you can just skip doing the signs if you shoot them before the passenger can see what they are. Me cool, that's a mechanic. It feels like it takes so much longer to get to anything in this game compared to Phantom Hourglass 2. Distances are longer. You can't draw the shortest line. This person wants fish. We know that. You hear the great news? The spirit tracks are back. I could go to the castle town, but they might just want something from the train, so we'll go deal with the rabbit lady. Oh, husband has vanished. Take me to him? Sweet husband. Can't wait for him. Alright. I doubt you can take multiple passengers. Maybe you can. Strange system. Figure out how to get to Rabbit Land Rescue. Noom to get past the uh, this set of trains first. And we just have to go behind them. And that's basically the play. Always want to go behind them. Excuse me? Do you realize this carriage is shaking? No, I'm too worried about the evil trains that will just kill us. If we're too slow. Um, we're just gonna have to go in a loop. We kind of just got our time wasted. Yeah, this is, why, this is why I hate the angry train system.
Okay, they didn't care about that. Yeah, I think we can just continue along our pre-planned route here. Yeah, there's nothing they can do to intercept us. Surprised there's very few signs here, but I guess that helps. Or right, destroy public property. Let's see if they care. deal with the spider problem. You're doing a great job, Mr. Engineer. And I'm like, what happens if they get mad? I'm like, you're telling me you're just going to abandon ship somewhere he like here? Doubt. I was scared there was going to be a last second spider. As soon as I go for a sip. So happy to finally see my husband. Thanks for bringing me all this way to meet him. What should I say to him? It's been so long. Well, it's gonna be awkward. We don't have a way to get that chest that's something that looks like it needs hookshot. We don't have it. So maybe hookshot's gonna be a proper item in this. I feel like that'd be redundant. Honey? What in the world are you doing? What's that ridiculous outfit? Ah, sugar plum. This is not what it looks like. Perfectly good explanation. Frolicking with those filthy wild rabbits, haven't you? I can't begin to understand your obsession with them. If you don't take care of these poor rabbits, no one will. You don't understand. I sure know them better than you know me. You know how any idea how worried I've been about you? I don't want to see when that ridiculous get up ever again. If all I care, you can stay here with your bunnies forever. Alright, divorce. I thought she liked bunnies. The bunny pictures. I'd like to go home now. Okay, what a mission. Sad. Oh, brother, why'd you bring my old lady here? Not a bright move, genius. Secret's out now. Sort of a load off my shoulders. Who's been busy hunting bunnies? Bring me ten bunnies from the grass. Get a prize. All right, hold up. Let's see if there's anything else I can grab here. Nope. Seven of ten ocean rabbits. So maybe it's something that just lets me walk across gaps? Hmm. 
No, I think I changed my mind. I won't be heading back to town. It's my husband's big heart that dr first drew me to him. Me and the one who needs to change. Done me a huge service. Thank you much. Now we unlocked a new area. New force gem. Forest rail map has expanded. Ooh, new loop. This force gem has energized the rail map. There's new tracks. Me on the one who drove my husband to stay with the rabbits. I'm just gonna stay here and see if I can fix things. You don't have a single rabbit. Get back here. I'm gonna leave and come back and see what you guys are up to. Whether that woman's going to try and work things out with her husband. Oh, you can just do this to come back. That's funny. Welcome to Rabbit Land Rescue, friend. Aren't bunnies the cutest? It's like my old lady's gonna be here for a while. I'm glad on all. Things won't be the same with her around. I'm gonna be happy. Well, I hope it works out for the two of them. Live alone in the wild with your wife. And bunnies. In someone's dream. Alright, let's go explore this new chunk now. Nice, we'll go back and... I guess we could talk to Beetle now that I have money. Or I could get the uh, rare heart piece, expensive one. Yes, they're just shooting bombs. No rabbits. Surprisingly. a disguised loading zone. There's like literally nothing here. Fair, I guess? Yeah, I guess it's a loading zone for this unique section of land here. It'd be funny if the only point of this is just to get like two more rabbits. Well, funny, I mean expected. Alright, we got this one. 666. Six, six. Wrong map. I feel like it's pretty expected for there to be a rabbit here. I guess that might be the whole point of this. There's two of them here. Aw, oh, man. Thankfully, this one's really easy since it's in a loading zone. You can just instantly retry it. Yeah, this just exists for two rabbits. It's kind of funny. Only kind of. Beetle's kind of in the way if we go forward, but... Let's go backwards. It doesn't reload behind the exact same rock, just the area. Okay. 
Alright, well... My attempts at retrying were not... Complete a retry was not uh, answered. So we have to go leave the area completely. Does that let me get beetle drop though quicker? That's it, Monster Gragon. Never seen anyone play either DS Zelda. I guess it's basically just. I feel like at this point in time, it's just people trying to play through every Zelda game, which includes me. Plus, well, since they're on DS, like if someone's going out to play them. I might just play them on their DS, which you can't really stream. It's just if you play on Wii U, or emulate. Another way. You can do it. Use the Steam Deck. Yeah, I just had play Phantom Hourglass right before this game. Like a month ago. Enjoyed that one. This one I'm not in deep enough to have a full opinion, but... It seems more questionable than Phantom Hourglass. This is the last mainline Zelda I haven't played. Breath of the Wild... turned me into a fan, basically, is the short story. It's taken five years to play them all. I guess if you count Triforce Heroes or the Hyrule Warriors. Okay, it's not tomorrow. Fun fact about this game. This game has like Animal Crossing daily mechanics. And unfortunately, for some reason, the clock... On the virtual console version of DS games is just completely off. It doesn't sync with the Wii U clock. Because the Wii U clock is correct. It says it's December... What's today? The 5th. And this game thinks it's November 29th for some reason. I tried googling it and no one... I think maybe this is the, the Zelda games are the only DS games on virtual console that use the calendar, so... Like a very small audience that has ran into this issue. Okay, that might get the bunny to respawn. I guess I'll try for the rabbit. This is what half the game is. You've reached like a midway point of the game where now you just go around the overworld on the train. Deliver people and goods. Improve your relationships with them. Which is basically what Death Stranding is. And this game beat Death Stranding to the punch. There's even spooky things on the route you want to avoid. Too bad there's not even a warp or anything this way. This just exists for two rabbits. That's it. There we go. I guess it only respawns if you actually go in something. Aw, oh, man. Dude, this bunny is hopping. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it eventually. 
It's kind of a boring grindy thing, and I think I just repeatedly attempt to get this rabbit. Eventually I'll get it. This is the first one I'm actually having any difficulty with. At least this one's in an easily farmable spot. I remembered I destroyed that earlier. I guess that's maybe why... Getting the rabbit again doesn't work until you've left... Doesn't seem like there's anything else going on here. This is gonna be quite the grind. I mean, this is just, like, a preview of what the final, like, quarter of the game is going to be. Just running around the world, trying to get bunnies, and then when you fail, you still very slowly go to the closest area. It's probably quicker to just save warp, honestly. Ah. Dude, I just have to predict where it's going to bounce. This one is very bouncy. Alright, this is going to be like a 30 minute grind. Probably not. It, it's either a 30 minute grind or I get it in like the next two. Don't know which to believe. It's a very chill checkpoint though. I can kind of just set the console down. It's literally just you have to grind it a couple times just to figure out how many times it'll jump, and then you can, uh, oh god. Then you can catch it. Just gotta learn its pattern. Interesting. The rabbits are just have all varying difficulty. Now oh, the battery's not charging. It's not plugged in. Hold up. One thing about using Wii U version is that the gamepad will die, and now you got an unsightly wire sticking out. Ah, uh, I'm just trying to guess what directions it's going, which maybe is not ideal. It's a, it's a really jumpy bunny, though. Like, it's... And the other variants will just sit still a little bit more. This one will not. I'm just very fortunate that there is somewhere to get in and out very quickly here. More stressful than the fish from Phantom Hourglass. All right, this is, this is definitely, though, like, this is only, like, the beginning. The final, like, eight hours of gameplay in this game is gonna be this. Just 
back and forth that one darn bunny. So I do have save states since I'm on Wii U. I mean, if it starts taking, like, super long, I'll start doing that. Because I tend to play things pretty vanilla. Usually I just use the original console. So for DS, that's not easily possible, although people figured out there's composite out on the DS Lite. Just built into the hardware that no one knew about. Oh, you're kidding me! I was like an inch off, twice in a row. Okay. Yeah, I think... There's really nothing to be gained from just respawning over and over. The sanctuary. I'll probably just save state a spot beforehand after this one. Ah, uh, there's like a 20... This is a modern game, too. It is like, I don't know. How do you handle something you can fail? You gotta retry. So you could just make it so you use an item to just retry. I guess the clock might be off because the game's using like a suspend point. Using, th that's the save states. Messing up the clock. I get it. I get what's happening. So when you use a save state that freezes up the clock, the game reloads the save state next time you continue. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Yeah, data saved on 11.29. That's why the clock is stuck on that day. I get it now. Oh, come on, there's nowhere for him to go! Got away. Alright. That looks all garbled because that's the virtual console menu. We're just gonna do this to retry it. Because there's gonna be a lot of this in this game. Bunnies. The thing is, the guy just doesn't sit still, ever. This one does not sit still. You just have to try and predict it. there that was kind of a throw but this is a weird one it's not even hard execution it just feels random because this one just never stops moving you just have to guess and pray as the usual strategy is when it says start i'll just aim for where it was jumping but because the net in this is kind of weird too what what do you mean missed it the net was over it. What the hell? This is just one rabbit, by the way. Definitely can foresee this taking forever. Imagine just playing this back in the day in the DS. Every time you fail, back and forth. Alright, it does feel like I just want to randomly flail it. it. It stops for like a split second. And that's it. Pika Gaming here. 
All right, there we go. Now, the way it jumps is just weird. All right, we're gonna back up anyways, because there's no reason to keep going this way. And then I think we go back to the old man, show him our stamps. Maybe we'll already get the freight car if we do that. can mark the bunny we just got here. That's two triangles. Because there's not enough resolution on the screen to actually draw, like, real words. Like, there's me trying to draw a bun bun. Write it. That just doesn't work. One reason this game needs a remaster, just to make it so you can draw and it actually looks like what you drew. More DPI. You can just noom through these guys. This is like moat half the game. Some regular Zelda dungeon stuff. There's also this. Beginning of the game, there was a bunny over here. The coastal rabbit. to die by crashing into the thingy. I actually are. Watch out. That sucks. That does at least explain why it's not tomorrow. Because the day never passed. It got frozen in time. Got a favor. What? I always dreamed of seeing the world from high up the sky. All the people will look tiny. Is there a place where I can fly like a bird? Humans can't fly. Oh, I do know. I think? There's the place with the birds? Unless I take him to the wrong place. Which would be sad. B. Change your train. Leave it up to me. Okay, so we gotta wait until something in the game forces us to get the freight car. Which I assume is when we try and go to the next area. Got treasure, right? We can trade. Lately, my kid has been saying weird stuff about wanting to fly. Like the little girl isn't your kid. It's great to see you're back. I'm finding stamps. Found eleven. Take this. The Shield of Antiquity. Who received this precious shield from the Badonker? The name of my old Link. Shield once belonged to Badonker from my adventure days. He did something important. I forget. I think maybe it was turning, changing my light bulb. Kill, killing the King of Evil. Something major like that. Anyway, seeing you with it takes me back to when I was young. Sorry if you already spent money with the, on a shield. Just leave it here with me. Come back if you want to change your drip. Barely even tell the difference. Dude, now we're Phantom Hourglass Link.
A shield. I kind of like... Yeah, I like the shield emblem in this one, though. And so just cosmetic drip? I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I like the new design in this one, though. So maybe they're implying Nico is dumb. I can't remember what Link did. Somehow. Alright, there's no way that I would be able to accept this if I don't have a valid location, right? Surely. We have a long route to go, though, because I don't know anywhere... Any good way of going to it. And off we go to the ocean realm. Actually, this is a pretty straight line. Should be okay. Taking away someone's kid somewhere, never been on all alone. No biggie. Do it right! Okay, I didn't even see what was the sign. He's probably busy shooting it. Oh, there's a bunny here. Oh my god, I choked on, like, the easiest bunny ever. Okay. Well, it's here. I just missed the initial throw, and that was it. Alright, close one. Always painful to lose a bunny. This one's also right next some to somewhere you can respawn it. Maybe they did that on purpose. I realized how weird of a system that was. Okay, well, no comment. That's not it? He doesn't want to fly? Secluded island to the north of here. I think it's a pirate hideout. I wonder if all the men are being held captive there. Oh, I forgot about the secret song. Probably gonna be some items that are hidden with that that I just forgot to check a point. Oh yeah, I can buy a potion. And buy another purple potion, I guess, if I really want. Leave it be for now. Yep. Yep. 
And that's just there. Leave him the wise one. So then I should find the man I should marry. Now, anyone nice? Okay. Draw Mary. Like, this one's more about writing words. God damn it. Didn't hold the button. Sensing you want to pay to hear your fortune, or just want to hear your fortune. Just questioned. You a boy or a girl? Ah. Ooh. Of course, I already knew that. What's your eye color? Clear. Just like my mother. What's your astrological sign? November. B. Okay, didn't hear me. Sign of a wise philosopher. You guard yourself highly. You can effort to listen to others. What you need for today is humor. Okay, so this is an actual fortune. Funny guy. Hey, look at me. Describe me in one word. Would it be cute or just plain? Ah. What? You need glasses. So when I already got the loot, I guess I just need to use the whip on the bird. Might need the bird song for this. Yellow, blue. Gotta actually blow. Oh, we have a whole area this way. What the heck? Strange. Scared him enough to play the secret song here. Yeah, if I let go of touch, that's what gets me off of here. I got the crabs naked. Gave us a little bit of money. Not all that's here? Did I do anything on the other side? I have zero clue. I don't even know why we need a song of the birds, but sure. Where are, you, where are we dropping? Okay, I don't really want this, but... There's gotta be another way I can go, right? I 
Okay. Dropping Greasy Grove on my bird glider. Like, these birds don't go the way I want to go. There's stuff to the left here, but... I don't know how you get to it. Yeah, I can just check the map? I don't even know. So what's the secret finding song again? Nothing hidden. Okay. The song of birds is kind of a niche thing. That's why they made it a song. I don't know if there's a way to go to the left is the only issue. It's kind of fuzzling. So there's gotta be stuff to the left. There's three whole islands I haven't been able to do anything on. The question is just how. Hardest puzzle in the game. Oh, there's the other bird. Okay. You're definitely getting pulled around here. Just get marooned? Help, I'm stuck. I don't know what bird this one is. It's the one that took me here, it is. decides to drop me here, sure. That was just for loot. Cool Fortnite glider, thanks. Exclusive to the Switch version. Finally added Nintendo content. Kind of crazy. Oh wow, if you want the stamp for this area. You have to do this. There we go. It's totally November still. Nintendo makes their own BR. I mean, I guess they made the Kirby... Well, that was only four player. Kirby Dream Buffet. It'll be a while before there's an actual Kirby BR. I wish I had a warp whistle or something. Can I just get an easy way out of here? I'm gonna have to take so many birds to get out of here. Are you kidding me?
Uh oh. How do I get out of here? To call a different bird? So much blowing. Actually, there's been very little blowing into the mic today, surprisingly. Oh, maybe it was the wrong bird that picked me up. It's a bird puzzle. Alright, so we did all this just to get a stamp, basically, and a little bit of money. I think, you know, like, the song of birds is, like, for this one area. For two areas in the game. I guess this doesn't count as an area you can fly like a bird, so... We'll have to abandon our passenger. So you didn't get out. Like, how even just to get out of here? I'm gonna do this. Surprise, my man doesn't want to get out. Which I guess means we went to the wrong area. I don't know where else we can fly. And I guess maybe Rita were in this game? Makes sense. They didn't go extinct after Wind Waker. But, I just have this passenger that's a dead weight. Gotta go back. What time is it? I'm getting close to ready to just call it a day. It's a hard game to poop sock because I have to physically hold up the gamepad, which gets tiring. I don't know how I get rid of this passenger, but I don't need him. Use dead weight. I guess the game just wants me to attempt the next section of the game. Could be a good checkpoint. Stop. Can't think of any other side stuff to do other than there's one thing I can buy and that's it. Is just going around the world with me. I don't know where he could want to go. Somewhere, just not here. Where am I even trying to go at this point? I guess I want to go back to the Inuki. Go this way, maybe. This kid is going to get owned, though. I wonder if we game over if he disappears from the train. Kind of makes sense. Come on, do it right. Don't take damage. Oh god. Emulator choking. We could make him unhappy on purpose, because we gotta, uh... Go back to many places. Let's go back to Wellspring Station first. Let's 
even is it? Bridge Worker's Home. Well, I guess there's nowhere else. No point in going there. It's not that I can think. Uh-oh. Getting double owned here. Oh, maybe we just drop him off a beetle? Is that what we do? Does the kid want to go with beetle? We kind of have a funny turn of events. Well, the one thing is if we stop, Beetle won't come here. Yeah, there's got to be a way to make our own paths. It's the only way this makes any sense. Pictures of stuff back there, but I can't figure it out. Too low res. It's awfully quiet here. Okay, Beetle is still around, but we'll go to the Sanctuary first. Kinda doubt he wants to go with Beetle, but you never know. He is in the air. The one thing is, Beetle is pretty close, but... Relatively, like if I want to catch up with them, it wouldn't be hard otherwise. It's kind of hard to catch up with them in general, though. There's a lot of easier ways to catch up with them. He's pissed. Alright, let's go lose all my money. Unless it's even more expensive than I think it is. This heart container. It's kind of just a random purchase. A early game. They just put it here instead of with Beetle. somewhere, but... The Anuki store. Only 2,000 rupees. Well, there we go. Another heart container. Come back soon. Freight. Oh, we gotta come back when there's freight. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get this kid to talk to Beetle, and that'll be my final mission. So we're getting close to the end. Your heart containers are a good visual gauge of that. Beetle is all the way on this side of the map now, which is not great. Might just have to warp and hope he shows up on that side of the map. It's up to me. I can't 
can try to go to him, it'll just be very tedious. Might not even get to him in time. I had a way to warp. That would be great, but... Because uh, I could see Beetle being an answer. He is in the air. It's either that or the game is spoiling that there's Rito. So it just assumes we have, ac we have access to the Fire Realm. So obviously you've seen them already. Disappearing. It'd be nice if he could already hear me, but not happening. I've never seen those angry trains go all the way down here. This teleporter has been activated. That's awkward placement. He's right by the... One thingy. So it's activating two things at once. Try and fight me when I'm in the middle of this. Okay, that counts. What in the world? Where are we? Can this thing fly? We're gonna fly. It's just amazing. Who's the funny looking guy here? I am not at the funny. Neither is your joke. Alright, now we're gonna turn Beetle into a babysitter. Beetle is actually quite the ladies' man. Something weird about him, don't you think? Whatever. Thanks for bringing me here. Oh, we gotta force him for that. Good. Ooh, new shortcut. That actually does help. Why are you smiling like that? Alright, funny man, let's fly. Stop it with the teasing business. Little kid. Alright, well, have fun babysitting. I'll circle this so maybe next time I remember if it's three days next week for some reason. Soon I'll be flying above the clouds. I have 145 points. Valued customer. We'll have to wait until tomorrow. We'll get the purple potion. One sixty points. All right, have fun with the kid. Lore development, plot development. Um, it'd actually, be easier to just start from Wellspring Station. Like how the song doesn't even have a chance to start. Alright, well, I did some insane puzzle solving. Turned out it was Beetle. Something weird. I don't want one of those trains. It looks like. Oh, okay. It looked like a bat or something.
Alright, this is the stopping point. Arms are too tired. That's a good stopping point. We still don't have the freight car, which means like a good chunk of the game is still inaccessible. That's okay. Alright, I'll create a restore point just in case. I got three MacGuffins. The MacGuffins don't even have a name. You just have them. It just says you cleared the dungeon. Alright, there we go. Let's see, maybe using home menu to close will make the day... ...night cycle... ...happen, so that way... ...it can be tomorrow in the game. Oh man. Alright. Well, I'll probably be playing more of this tomorrow. I want, like, a poop sock session of the game where I start start earlier, but it's kind of hard. Because of how I have to hold the gamepad. Yeah, it's basically the itinerary. It's finishing the game, this game, during the week, because this weekend is the big run in Splatoon. And I'm going to squeeze in some melee practice. Little final appearance on Friday for the year. <laughs> <laughs>